Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another episode of Let's Open Some Packs. My mat is really dirty because I've been opening a lot of, um, a lot of packs. <laughs> and some packs were gross. Uh, some vintage ones. But yeah, so uh, today I'm doing a video for these two decks. I think there's more. Um, these are the two though that I was the most interested in back in the day when they came out. Uh, these came, I got these before the world shut down. Uh, these are made in Belgium? What? So these are from The Illusionist. These are made in Bel Belgium. These are made in the USA. So I'm assuming these are made by Carter Mundi, and then these are made by United States Playing Card Company. Uh, I don't know much about them, honestly. Like, that's the truth. I, I know that, um, I think they're designed by, oh, I don't want to get your name wrong. Um... I want to say it was, oh, Adam Wilbur. Let me find out in two seconds. Two seconds. Hang on a second. Back. I was right. Adam Wilbur. Uh, design, the Keeper deck, designed by Adam Wilbur. Yeah, and I remember seeing, uh, I've met him before. He doesn't know who I am. But I walked up to him once at a, at a magic convention, and I went, hey, you're Adam Wilbur. And he goes, yeah. And I was like, dude, you're a really good magician, man. He was like, thanks. <laughs> like, it was a really cool, it was like, I could tell that I really like, he was like, what? Thanks. That's nice of you. Um, yeah, he seems like a cool dude too. Uh, but yeah, so I remember seeing him showing videos of these, of this deck and he would have people close their eyes and do like a, like a standard bike deck. You just saw how I do a magic trick. Dang it. <laughs> he would do like a standard bike deck. And then they were, or like even like the, I think it was even the gold seal ones too. These, the, um, the, those. Anyways, but, and they would do like a, a dribble or something. And I'll, I'll, I'll start doing this so you don't have to keep listening to me talk. But, and then they would, he would ask like Shin Lim and I think, I think I want to say Shin Lim was one of them. And they had to say like, which deck is which? And they could tell these were the different ones. Um, cause everyone's like, they're just bikes or something. I don't know what the reason was. Um, uh, I'm assuming that's why, but it's like, no, they feel different, yo. But yeah, I'm finally getting around to playing with these. I had these, um, this is when I was buying, like buying decks just as a collector. And I had this rule where I would only open a deck, uh, if I was going to break it in. I'm like, I'm not going to open a deck if I'm not going to break it in. So I had all these decks sealed. Um, and then the world shut down. And the, the deck world became crazy. Um, let's start with the stand. And I don't know if you remember, but there was like a new deck, 10 new decks every week. And they would sell out. Uh, maybe not 10 decks. You know, I'm just being exaggerating. But there, but there was a lot of decks coming out when uh, when the world shut down. When there was like... Hey, uh, and it was a really good time for decks. Like a lot of people sold a lot of decks. Um, the Sentinel at his post, the Watcher on the Wall, a Guardian of Deadly Truths, Secret Keeper above all, guide seafarers where you will, warm hearts or watery graves, for in your hands a simple light to lead them through the waves. There you go, the Keeper. I guess it's the dude that works in the in the lighthouse. And there you go, little lighthouse thing. So, let's check them out. So there's an OJ and AW, so Adam Wilbur. Uh, I'm not sure who OJ is. Sorry, OJ. Um, cool, Jokers. I lo they look like duplicate, right? There's no like, yeah, they're duplicate. There's no, uh, no reveal. Ooh, the back design's cool. We'll get to you in a second. I'm sure you, ooh, Illusionist, add card, and you get a, oh, you get an extra queen, it looks like. Cool, so you get an extra queen of hearts. Sometimes I Pharaoh, <laughs> or I'll, or I'll, uh, I'll uh, you know how I'm doing everything. I'll do like a Pharaoh, or I'll shuffle the cards, and then I'll be like, it's Mnemonica stack. I don't even know Mnemonica, I, I even own the book. I haven't looked at Mnemonica. I don't know Mnemonica stack. So if the deck is in any order, it will always be Mnemonica stack to me. <laughs> and I have the book. I started to like look into it. Um, I learned some other, there's like, there's, it's not just Mnemonica by the way. There's a ton of other stacks that you could, 
Oh, that's a really nice back design, yo. It's classy. Uh, there's a lot of other um, stacks you could learn. It's not just mnemonica. Um, and there, there's like Wikipedia pages on them and stuff. And I started learning a different one. Uh, and then I'm like, I don't, I don't want to do magic this way. And I don't. I mean, some people do. If you do, you you could do it. It's like mentalism slash magic. Um, okay, so standard courts. Yeah, and I just didn't want to do that. I was like, you know what? I'd rather spend my time on the clip shift. Oh, hey, look, he's doing custom faces. There's a woman there. Maybe that's OJ, and that's him. He's the king of club or the jack of clubs. That's my favorite card, too, yo. Nice. Yeah, okay, so OJ and, and, um, ooh, wait, these are the standard ones? Yo, we haven't even got to the Masters. I think one deck is marked, by the way, uh, if I remember. I don't think it's this one. And if it is, I suck. <laughs> work at a casino and I check it. You're good to go, sir. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I get fired the next day. Oh, dear. Anyways, these feel really good. These feel very sturdy. Or like sticky. I don't know what the word is. Like, you, you can hear the thump there. You know? Definitely good for... Yeah, they're, they're very snappy. So let's see. Yeah. Do some. Oh. And then do a little. Oh. Oh, I failed. This is what happens when I look through the viewfinder. <laughs> when I'm watching if the tricks, if the moves are on the screen. All right, let's do this one now. <clears throat> Did I stray on any of my stories? I usually, I do that. I go ADD on y'all. I think I've had some people comment. I'm like, bro, you're so ADD. <laughs> It's like, yeah, yeah, man, I'm not going to change. I'm sorry. I just am. These are in Bel from Belgium. So these are these are definitely USB-C. I can totally tell. These feel like um, thin crushed. Um, and let's leave the, you know what? Do we have the, no, you know what? Let's leave the back design. Let's take a look. Oh, Cardamoni for sure. Look at that. Bink. Ooh. So these are probably B line, huh? B nine, slim line. Uh, that's a really nice color, yo. I like it when 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 people do these reds, these kinds of reds. I just did one recently where the reds were like this. Um, all right, so he's doing. Okay, so the, yeah, they're the same jokers, I think. Ooh, a different ace. gotta be kidding me come on usually I'm like a first times a charm type guy all right so let's check you out bink oh, wow these aces are pretty nice I like this one it's so bold right that's a nice ace this is a nice ace I like simple you know there's like elaborate ones that look great you could tell that they the artist worked really you know and then there's like really classy, which probably takes as long to design. Um, this is very classy. I like this ace. And look at this. Look at these colors. Right? Nice. Whole lot of class here, yo. Uh, I don't know if Illusionist is still selling these. So he's doing standard quartz, like color variation, uh, standard indices and faces. There's. I'm assuming that's OJ and that's Adam Wilbur. Um, and you get an extra Queen of Hearts and a. I think this one's marked. Let's check it out. Yeah, it's marked. I was like. <laughs> uh, oh man, it's such a good marking, too, that I'm like. I'm like, was it on the other one? <laughs> I missed it. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, I can't tell what cardamom these are. They feel good, though. Really good. I don't 
don't know what stock this is. Does it say on the box? Maybe it does. It says, you can look with me. It just says made in Belgium. Feel good though. I like them. Uh, and the marking system looks incredibly, incredibly, it's so good. Like, like that, you can't tell. Good job. Good job on the marking. I haven't fanned. You know why I don't fan people. Oh, hey, that's a pretty good fan. It's the finish on this, on, on the Carter Mundi cards. Um, there's some decks, depending on the finish, you could do... <laughs> I'm sorry. Like you can see me trying. <laughs> so, I can do so many other moves. <clears throat> Man, I've seen people that can do a fan. It's so good. It's perfect. Anyways, love these cards. I'm so glad I finally got to open them. Uh, I found them while I was looking for other cards. I'm like, the Keeper cards, I totally... Because they did kind of like... He was promoting them very often. I'd see him on YouTube. And then um, I haven't seen him promote them. So, or maybe he has, and I just haven't seen. Uh, but really cool cards. Um, I like them both. So if you like Mark Dex, I would recommend that one. Um, just because you saw. Like, you can't really, I mean, you have to know what to look for. Anyways. Or maybe it's, uh, whatever. I'm not going to say anything else. Thanks for watching. God bless all of you. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!